And here we are inside this beautiful home. Right here is the entryway. You'll see that the ceilings reach all the way up in this vaulted ceilings with floor to ceiling windows, letting in all that natural light that you might want. But there's so much to talk about in this house. The first thing I'd like to talk about is the front door. Custom wood, custom finishes. You're gonna see that custom wood throughout the house. And I'm definitely gonna be pointing it out because really it is incredible. Take a look at this island here, breakfast nook, however you'd like to call it, right here in the kitchen. Beautiful lighting just above it. In place of a chandelier, you've got these individually spaced bulbs that really do add an air of sophistication to this area. Quartz dining top with your chef's sink right over here, smeg finishing, really clean, really crisp, classy smeg right over here. You've got a five top gas burner right in the first time and just below it, gas stove as well. Then five ovens, no, 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 four ovens. Four ovens, guys, four ovens. If you're a chef, if you're a budding cook, guys, this is exactly what you need. But in place of the one oven right over here in the corner, your very own built-in cappuccino machine. It's winter, we all know how you love your coffee. So while you're baking some muffins, while you're whipping up a breakfast, you can have your coffee right over there. On the left, there's a scullery that I'm gonna take you on a walk through, but let's take a look on this side here. Built-in kitchen cabinets, all of it is closed, white lacquered finishes, really crisp. Your scullery is located just off the kitchen. As soon as you'll walk in, you'll notice all your cupboard space, space for dry goods, space for storage. That invaluable space in homes this size is there and easily accessed with those white lacquered cabinets. Then we've got your double sink, so all of your washing and keeping up will be put out of prying eyes. Here we are within this stunning kitchen. First thing I'd like to notice is, as I mentioned, convenience is a key feature of this home. And in terms of convenience, we've got a plug point built into these Caesar stone countertops and it is illuminated if you want to use it at night. So I really love seeing this. We don't see it nearly often enough. Right over here, Central Island again, and I'm gonna mention over and over, we've got the feature lights for this room, this down lighting pushing down onto the center island. So if you do need that illumination, we've got you covered. I love how this, or how large this center island is, how far it stretches, and the fact that just underneath here, you can pull out some chairs so they are hidden and not in your way. On the right hand side, as I've mentioned, chef sink is the number one key feature. You're not living in a luxury home unless you've got one of these chef sinks, but this home takes it further, and we've got this right here. Some of you are probably familiar with it, but this gives you either instant chilled water or instant boiling water. So for those of us tea, us tea lovers, it's covered, guys. At night, you don't need to wait for any kettles to boil. You can just get your tea immediately. On my right-hand side, I'm sure you guys have noticed, I mean, this incredible bit of machinery right over here. So let's run through it. All of this, including the stovetop, is Gaganal. We've got your coffee machine, your warming drawer, another warming drawer, one oven, a steam cooker, steam oven, and then right over here is your microwave over here. Gas countertop, we've got a five top burner underneath another Gagana oven. We've got, <laughs> I know guys, this is, this, is, this is kitted out. We're not playing over here. We've got an inverter over here and then over here, your teppanyaki bro, and then take a look above us. This is not just any kind of bulkhead ceiling. Your extractor fan is built into the ceiling. You can see the down lighting there as well. Really cool place to be and I can only assume it must be an even nicer place to cook. And then rounding off this kitchen is our inbuilt freezer right over here and then the fridge over here, all the way tucked out of sight so it's not gonna bother you, but then flanked by this stunning white countertop. And then over here, guys, my favorite, you know I love going wine shopping every time I do one of these shows. We've got an inbuilt wine chiller with glass so you can still use that, you can still see what's going on in there and enjoy wine on a day like today, which is blisteringly hot, but stop right there because over here is your pantry. So behind these sliding doors is exactly where you'll find your pantry. I love again how the clean lines of this home are kept by utilizing like really, really smart and uh, interesting cupboard designs. So I do dig that. But here we are within the back end of the kitchen and over here is where you'll find the remainder of your sinks. We've got a double sink over here with a single large rectangular sink over there. Under counter storage throughout and this is also where you can find any of the space that you might need for your under counter appliances. Again, as I mentioned, clean lines are a key feature of this home. So that's your dishwasher and that's one of your dryers.
take a look at this kitchen. Chandelier above us, stunning island right here in the center with this wood grain, super smooth, really luxurious. I love this farmhouse sink here. We've seen this before. These farmhouse sinks are so cool. You also got your pewter tap just above it, again, giving you that country vibe. All of the designs have been tied in so nicely. We've got a oh, one, two, three, four, five burner gas countertop as well as the stove just below it above extractor and look at these windows leading into your cupboards your upper cupboards beautiful almost stained glass at least reminiscent to that the windows leading outside as well sliding again country vibe really nice living in tons of natural light and also giving you that air so when you're cooking in here you don't need to worry about anything becoming a bit too hot a bit too heavy a bit too much and right over here just underneath your island is my favorite of all. Guys, what have I got here? Oh, beautiful 2016 Cabernet Sauvignon. I think I'm gonna take this one as well. Let's go. So now that I've squirreled away, mind you, stolen bottle of wine. I don't think you guys should let me in there in your homes. You know what's gonna happen. Your wine is gonna be pilfered. But right over here, we've got a pantry. So if we open that up, you can put all your dry goods over here. And then, talking about stuff that's hidden, is this right here is your fridge. So opening that up, hidden fridge, chalkboard in front of it, really cool. Just below there is freezer. So much under counter storage and drawers here on this middle island. Over here you can stack your plates horizontally and over here, before we go, that is your scullery as well as your laundry area. So let's do a quick tour around that. Walking into your scullery, one thing is immediately apparent, and this is where you'll enter your home through your garage. This is a two car garage with another single car garage on the other side of the home. Another cool thing about the scullery is the same with all these beautiful homes, is there are another two sinks here for all your food prep, meal prep, dishes, washing up, out of the sight of any guests. Yeah, you'll also find plenty of under counter as well as above counter storage. Your microwave and dishwasher has got plumbing. It's all ready for you. But there's also a laundry room just off here where you can put everything else that doesn't make it in your scullery. So you don't need to worry about anything. And here we are within this exceptionally stunning mansion's kitchen and I love the way it's done, so minimalist. But some really cool features, one are the easy plug points that you can reach both on this side as well as on that side of this island as well as cupboard space, both on my side as well as your side of the island. So all your cupboard space is taken care of and right here we have a five top gas burner Siemens as well as three Siemens ovens all behind me. Then we've got a hidden fridge and freezer right over here if we open it up. Listen to that suction. Now, how cool is this? Right here is your extractor and it's built in flush. So if I hold this down, see if I get this right. Look at that. First time your extractor, when you're cooking, raises up from your island. You've got beautiful lighting above it. Right here, you've got your chef's sink. So for all your food prep, it's done right here with a smeg sink. So everything's fancy here, guys. It's a 14.9 million rand house. All of the finishes have been thought after and all of them are quality. How cool is that? Then to get it to go back down, just press and hold and it sinks right back down. It's got an inbuilt light. So if you are big into entertainment, not only is this house perfect for you, 270 degree view and so many open areas, but if you're into cooking, it's all done and taken care of. Just behind your kitchen, you'll find yourself in your scullery. Now your scullery has a double sink, as well as plenty of under counter storage, both for any goods you might need to store there, but as well for your appliances. So your dishwasher, your washing machine, your tumble dryer, all of that will go there. You've got cover space wall to wall, but what I also really like about it is it has garden access and windows looking out onto the beautiful nature. We've spoken about the sitting room area, we've spoken about this beautiful dining room area with tons of natural light. So let's walk into this kitchen because the beauty does not stop there. As soon as you get into this kitchen, led here with this stunning naturally sourced wood floor, you see in the center, marble, kitchen island, the down lighting on top of it, sea green glass. It really does give you just that touch of color that this house 
does wonderfully. Right over here, for all of you aspiring chefs, you've got a Smeg five burner gas cooktop with an oven built in just underneath and another oven, also Smeg, right over here. Stunning. Plenty of cupboard space, both behind me as well as underneath this island. And across to this side of the kitchen, you've got a lot of prep space if you're busy cooking up a big meal and just underneath, plenty of drawers for all your storage options. But behind me, what a beautiful breakfast look. So much light, you can really start your day off on a positive note. There's another exit there to those beautiful grounds letting you into your garden. But there's so much more to this kitchen, guys. And to my left, there's a scullery as well as pantry. So let me show you some of the features over there. Walking into the scullery, you'll pass the pantry on the left-hand side. Plenty of shelving space there for all your dry food goods, and then you'll find yourself in the scullery. Double sink for all your washing up needs. But if we're talking about washing up, there's not one, but two Smeg dishwashers built into the left and right-hand side. And now this is built into the actual cupboard space, so it's hidden from view. It keeps everything looking very clean and very neat. And now that you've seen the scullery and pantry and those really cool dishwashers, I want to let you know that the fridge is done exactly the same. Hidden fridge, you pull it right out of here. It doesn't take away from the facade of these beautiful cupboards, but there's a lot more to show you. Come over here with me. And then, because we've spoken about the fridge, this here, top to bottom, is a huge built-in freezer. Cupboard space there, cupboard space above, and here we go, your very own wine cellar, exposed brick behind it, beautiful wood keeping your wine separated, and I think...